Flat Soy. Did you see Flat Soy's latest video? Quite possibly. What's it about? The ranty proving that the Black Swan is uh, debunked. He debunked the Black Swan. Did you oh, know sorry, Ranty did? I didn't see the uh, ranty video. I did see his thumbnail. He claimed he'd debunked the Black Swan in an hour-long video. Right. Well, Flat Soy made a little response to that. It's lovely. Okay, I'll have to check it out. But Be yeah, Ranty thinks that the horizon can be refracted with terrestrial refraction, and that would still prove, basically, that the Earth is a sphere. Oh, so, right. Is, that was his yeah. argument. Ah, uh -huh. beautiful. Say it with me, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna need an R for that, Ranty. It's tough for him because R is the first letter in his name, you know, so... It's, R is very close to his heart. Terrestrial refraction is bending light through the atmosphere. Fear shape there. At a rate of R. So you're gonna need R for that. Well, that saved me an hour. <laughs> How quickly he's out there assuming terrestrial refraction when Katz's bum buddy ran away from R so recently. It's the same R that I asked Katz for, Ranty. Have you got it? Of course you haven't, we've debunked it. But you think that you're overcoming it with the same old dusty crap that we've had the last 18 months that needs R? Oh dear. You're going to need R for your refraction, because terrestrial refraction's moving through sphere-shaped air at a rate of R, Ranty. Didn't you know? Maybe you should have paid a bit more attention when you are a flat earther. Yeah, and it, that doesn't make sense on its face to say, because terrestrial refraction was always used to loom things with respect to the horizon prior to the black swan. And that's how I understood it, because it had the R value in it. Yes, that's correct. To quote Rumpus, you know it's refracted because of its position with respect to the horizon. Of course, that didn't stop him coming here and lying about that very statement, did it? That's why he's not welcome anymore, because he's a lying scumbag. That would be Rumpus, who made it explicitly clear how refraction works with respect to the horizon. Only to later claim that the horizon was also refracted with an R-based refraction that you need R in the first place to use it to paradoxically move the horizon to a non-geometric position. You're all idiots. So the horizon is refracting over a refracted horizon. Nice. Yeah, they get Good much morning, better guys. than that. Paradox. Sorry, chocolate. Yeah, it's beautiful. They think that they can determine the geometry by measuring something using optics when it is actually already being displaced by the assumed value, well, that you assume it is half the thing you're looking at, right? So they basically pre-assume it. You can't get more presuppositional than this. To assume what you're looking at is a sphere and then to adapt what you actually see to that assumption. That is terrestrial refraction and it is a paradox. Right. Can't move the horizon with an R-based refraction if the R-based refraction is based on a tangent point horizon. So to do the Earth geometry, the Earth sphere geometry, it's based on having a tangent to that horizon. That's how the geometry is performed. So as soon as you move the horizon or refract the horizon, regardless of the fact that Ranty's refracting it with R, you then can't have your tangent point because it's moved and been refracted, debunking the geometry from within. In other words, Ranty's current claim of terrestrial refraction moving the horizon was the very thing that was laid as a bear trap by Quantum Eraser when he intentionally used bendy cranes in the picture rather than the crystal clear ones that he had plenty of options to use. Well, that's so that you can say refraction because the moment you say it, you debunk the geometry. If the horizon's refracted, it's not geometric, Ranty. Idiot. Seems like he didn't get that all this time that he spent over here. I was bracing against it the whole time because he wanted to transition across to globe. So he was like, I don't like the black swan. Really? Well, not liking it meant you didn't pay enough attention, did you, Ranty? Because if the horizon's refracted, it's not geometric? You complete bonehead? If you're, if you're a flat earther and you don't like the black swan, 
and you've heard the responses that the globe side and the anti flat earth side have given to the black swan and you still don't like it then you just don't get it it's pretty apparent yeah pretty apparently didn't get it or he wouldn't be saying oh well terrestrial refraction can move it oh yeah that's refraction based on an atmosphere for light to bend through but all right of r oh where'd you get your r value run little kitten run fast so today we're going to be debunking the black swan by the time that this video is finished if you understand it and you follow it from start to finish you will understand the black swan argument and you will understand that it is nothing more than seeing refraction over the curvature of the earth <laughs> going uphill at a fairly exponential rate so it's good stuff um subscribe today to flatsoid <laughs>